What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, and <clears throat> I'm excited for this particular lesson because it's it's not a famous song or anything, although you might have heard familiar things in that intro. What I want to do is kind of demystify that Travis picking, finger picking uh, acoustic guitar playing. It was something I always avoided. Uh, I was more into electric blues and rocking out, and I kind of felt like this was too hard for me until the last few years when I just made the choice to kind of break it down. But I think what's cool is since I, I'm not, it's not my field of expertise, I think this will be great for the beginners out there because I, I think I understand uh, how to break it down for a super beginner. And you'll see there's, there's one pattern that can be uh, modified and evolve into all these famous finger picking patterns and different songs that you hear. So we'll zoom in and I'll show you the bare bones of it. And I think, uh, I think it's gonna help. So that's it. Uh, also, thanks for the support. Please subscribe to this uh, new YouTube channel of mine. This is where I'm at now, and I really appreciate that support. Uh, also, if there's songs or other techniques that you'd like to learn or just feedback you want to leave, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, you know, like the video as well. All that stuff is really appreciated. You know, I'm out there uh, interacting with people on Facebook and Instagram all the time as well. So thank you for all that support. Let's zoom in and break this one down, though. Here we go. All right, so I have a really useful finger picking pattern that can be adapted for lots and lots of popular finger picking songs. Like I said in the intro, it's not my expertise, but I think that's going to be a benefit to you because I can really show you kind of from a beginner's uh, perspective. Uh, we're going to start with a C major chord. So just remember, we're going to be focused on the picking of the right hand, but we're just going to use the C major chord as our basis to begin with. And remember, like I said, this can be adapted and patterns can change, but this is this is the thing that broke me through to play songs like um, Led Zeppelin, you know, um, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You, uh, Dust in the Wind, you know, um, a million others, but uh, Simon and Garfunkel, you know, lots of that. Not quite as advanced as like James Taylor, but this is a great starting point. So enough, without further ado, we're gonna take the C chord and now let's, we just know the C chord's gonna happen. Let's focus on the right hand now. So first thing we're gonna do, and I recommend you just repeating this a lot, get the muscle memory down, program it. The A string with the thumb. See, easy so far, right? And then index finger, red rum, on the G string, so. And just do that a while and get used to that. Even pause the video, do it for five minutes. Thumb index, A string, G string. Okay, then we're gonna do thumb on the D string. Then middle finger on the B string. Remember, we're still holding that C chord, so A string, G string, then thumb on the D string, and then middle finger on the B. Really slow.
So that's your starting point. Now check this out. So far, we've been using our middle finger on that B string, right? Well, what you can do is whenever you feel like it, or you can pick an exact pattern, you, instead of the B string, you can play the, the E string. So pretty much the exact same thing, but instead of the B string, the high E. Then let's do first time the B string, second time the high E, and alternate. Now, since uh, we're kind of emphasizing with the root on the A string, let's do the exact same thing with the pattern, but with an A minor chord now. C. A minor. Now let's try A major. Uh, A7. All that pattern I just taught you. And uh, sometimes I was playing the B with my middle finger. Sometimes I was playing the high E with my middle finger. Sometimes I had an exact pattern to it, but other times I was just doing it randomly. So then let's talk about chords that have the root on the E string, like a G major chord, right? Well, the pattern is gonna be the exact same actually, but instead of the A string, we're thumbing the low E. But the rest of it's the same, so low E, it's a G chord here, low E with the thumb, G with the index. Then D, just like before, with the thumb, then B with the index, uh, I'm sorry, B with the middle. So thumb on the E, index on the G, thumb on the D, middle on the B. So the thumb's going E, D, E, D, E, D, E, D, E, G, D, B. You just start to speed it up and it all of a sudden you don't hear that simple pattern. It sounds pretty fancy, I think. Or at least fancier than... <laughs> right? to switching them so on the C I'm doing the exact same pattern but the first notes on the A string when I do the G exact same pattern but it's on the E string now with the G chord I'm gonna alternate my middle finger to the high E
So that same pattern that I was just doing for a G would work great for like an E7 chord. So what was going on there with the E7, I was playing, or, and then the A7, just like the first pattern. Then the B7, just like this first C chord pattern with the right hand. Pattern. And then this pattern I showed you for G. So that's what you have. And then I did this in my live stream on Facebook and I saw one of the comments ask me, well, what do you do for the D chord? Well, the D chord you would do exactly like the first pattern, except it starts with the open D. So you'd go like this. The fingers are the same, but it'd be thumb on the D, index on the B, thumb on the G, middle on the high E. So you can see there's a lot of valuable uh, places to go from that starting point. So have fun with that, and I'll follow up with uh, some tunes that use this technique in other videos. All right, there was the lesson. I uh, hope you got something from it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. Leave comments. Like the video. Let me know uh, what you want to learn, and I will read it. Um, and just thanks again. Can't wait to see you real soon. So, see ya!